I have looked at, let me say it like this. I was praying about something and I believe I have been led to look at or listen to videos about mental disorders and I have seen a lot of videos about mental disorders or should I say listened to I think I listen more than I look at some videos so let me say I listened to quite a bit of videos about mental disorder sometimes i may look at videos of women who may speak about having bpd or i think schizophrenia bipolar and stuff like that what i have noticed what i believe i have noticed and let me say this first i don't dress very well you may see me in these t-shirts or hoodies and stuff like that. I'm not a very fashionable person. You know, I don't want to waste money on something that is probably going to last <laughs> a short time. And I'm not rich like that to constantly buy really good clothes all the time. I hope this makes sense. Anyways, I was researching about mental disorders what I have learned, if there is, I have noticed a trend. Let me say it like that. I have noticed a trend. If you see a woman with a lot of piercings, let's say, a woman half or whole ear pierced, like one, two, three, four, and then have this pierced over here, and this pierced, and that pierced, or belly button pierced. All these piercings on the body, that may be a sign that woman has a mental disorder. If you see a woman with these tattoos all around her neck, all on her arm, so many tattoos on her body, I believe that is a sign of a mental disorder. I believe the same thing goes for a man. I believe if a man have a lot of piercings and tattooing his face and all that mess there, fashion is not just fashion. You may look at a celebrity and see that celebrity with all those tats and piercings and you may think to yourself, hey, I want to be like that person. You know, that person looks cool. But you may not even know it. That celebrity, that person that you want to be like, may have a mental disorder. And I believe there is a chance if you start dressing like something, I believe it is going to have influence over you. So you want to be like that celebrity or whatever. What if you begin to adopt the same problems as they? You think it is normal to tat up your whole face? Like your arms and your fingers? That, that looks weird. That is demonic. And what I believe it shows that person may have a mental disorder. Let me say this. I noticed too with these women dyeing their hair bright red, orange, and these bright colors, and along with the tats and along with the piercings. I believe that is a big sign that person may, let me say may, may have a mental disorder. What's wrong with looking normal? Kevin, looking normal is strange. So it is not strange to dye your hair bright red. It is not strange to touch, I mean, to pierce your eyebrow, like one, two, three, four, and 
whole ear pierced and have like a and piercing all over your body that is not weird you call that exciting no i think that is a sign that there is a big problem or maybe a big problem stay away from that stuff like i said i have been watching videos on mental disorders usually when i see these signs on a person I probably can tell straight off that person has a problem. Am I trying to tease anyone? Am I trying to make fun of anyone? Absolutely not. But we have to stop trying to be like everyone else. Like I said, myself, I don't dress very well. I don't wear Versace, Versace uh, I guess San John and Fat Farm. I guess those are old <laughs> stuff right there. I don't know too much about the new stuff i guess i have heard of true religion i guess maybe that is old too i don't know i don't wear very nice clothes but just be normal what's wrong with just being simple you don't need all these hair pieces all the way down your back all the way you know these wigs weaves all the way down to your behind and and like this wild heathen look we don't have to be doing that we don't and i'm not trying to make people feel bad but we need to get back to the basics if i can say that be normal Oh, I saw this woman on TV with this very long weave all down her back, all the way down to her calves. You don't know what problems that woman is going through. You don't know if that woman was paid, that woman was prayed, that woman was probably paid to dress like that, to influence people. You Stop adopting things that you see. At one point of time, I wanted my ears pierced and all that mess like that too. I got a tattoo, which I really regret. I have a tattoo. Let me tell you, I have a tattoo of a demonic dog on my arm. A demonic dog. I guess for some reason, I was influenced to do it, but for some reason, I thought it was a good idea to put a demonic dog on my arm. I forget which arm it is. Maybe this arm or that arm. Like right in this area. Let me see. Yeah. Right here. With flames under its feet. Imagine that. A person teaching about God. Well, at that time, I was not teaching. I don't think I was teaching about God back then but a demonic dog on my arm, even still to this day. Because I thought it was cool. I guess the two other guys that was with me thought it would be cool too. Was it two or three? Maybe two, maybe three. I don't know. Stop. Listen now, if you want to live for God, let me say this too. If you want to live for God, Stop hanging around with just anyone, if that makes any sense. If someone doesn't want to live for Jesus Christ, you may have to stay away from them. I would have never gotten a tattoo if I were, if, if I would have chose to not be around those people, which I don't think there was a way around that i think i had to be around those two people for a particular reason but if i were not around those two people especially that one person i don't think i would have gotten that tattoo you know i don't like pain too much and getting that tattoo was extremely painful i will never do it again stop dressing appearing like people who have mental disorders 
be boring. What's wrong with being boring? You have to dye your hair bright purple and put like a, a, a tongue ring and a lip ring and something over here, ring through that to look exciting. So you got to look, I guess, a little demonic to be exciting. Stop that. Look normal. Stop putting hearts on your face and and these uh so-called tribal tattoos on your body which i think many of those tattoos are demonic or maybe all of it is demonic tribal tattoos i believe a lot of tribes were into demon worship but but you don't know do you really know what you are putting on your body or are you just doing it because you saw it somewhere I believe pagans would tattoo their body for demonic. In some cases, I don't know all cases, but I think in some cases would tattoo their body for demonic reasons. But you just, you are probably just doing it because it looks cool and I want to show off my tattoos and have people praise me. Putting on demonic stuff for praise. Stop that, man. Let me stop here. God bless you.